Hi, my name is Doug Wilson. I'm the Director of Security at Uptix, and I'm here today to talk about identifying browser extensions with OS Query. Uh, we discovered in the early days of Uptix that a really neat thing that you can do with OS Query is look at different browser extensions, find out what you've got installed on machines, and also find out if certain versions you've got are the ones that you want or don't want to have. Um, a lot of programs tell you versions of software, but having to get the browser extensions requires a bit more legwork or checking machines manually or with a script. OS Query makes this pretty easy. Why might you want to do this? Well, there have been several cases in the past year of major software vendors having installations that have vulnerabilities in the browser extensions. And additionally, in smaller organizations, a lot of users are allowed to install whatever browser extensions they want. Uh, some of these are not things that you want in your organization, and you want a way to check on this. Um, sometimes they get blacklisted by Google or some of the other large vendors, but you don't necessarily want to rely on that or wait on that. Um, so I'll start this off by firing up OS Query. And as I've done in some past videos, again, I'm launching OS Query with sudo. I'll explain why that's important for this particular exercise a little bit later. Um, so as I said, OS Query has uh, tables that allow you to query the extensions for several different browsers on Mac and Linux. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of great browser support for Windows right now, but I'm sure it'll be coming soon. So if you want to look at what we've got, the tables in OS Query, we've got support for Chrome. Safari, Firefox, Opera, and there's also uh, this table, uh, which for OSX is for the sort of legacy uh, network, uh, sorry, Netscape programming API uh, plugins. This is how uh, Flash and a couple other things used to be installed across all browsers. This is mostly deprecated now because most of the browser um, vendors have stopped supporting it, but you may also want to look in that table occasionally. Um, it is misleading because some people think that all browser plugins are covered in there. It's better to go after the specific particular browser that you are looking for. Um, so let's say you want to check what versions of a plugin you're running in Google Chrome. All right, so we want to see what's in the Google Chrome extensions table. Okay, this is an interesting error message. So remember when I mentioned at the beginning we're starting OS Query using sudo. That means right now we're looking at OS Query from the perspective of root. Um, however, there are certain tables which actually identify stuff by user, uh, depending on what they're looking at. And because browser extensions are installed on a per user basis, this happens to be one of those tables. So what we need to do is we need to take the query that we're making, since we're running as root, and join it with all the users in the users table so we can see all the different instances on this particular computer. So the way we would do that is we would take the query we had, and then we join that. So we're going to basically say uh, where For the Chrome extensions table, the user ID column is in the query of user ID from users. And then because this is going to scroll a bunch, we're just going to do limit one just to see if we actually get a return. And hey, look, there you go. You can see we've got the column stuff up here. And then we actually have the first thing for user 501, which is the first user in normal user space on a Mac. And then we've got the information here. It's the Google Slides plugin. All right, so we could also do this for some other things. So right now we're using Chrome, uh, but if we wanted to do this, we can also do, say, Firefox, pretty much using the same query. Uh, and this format will work for all of the different uh, browser extension ones. Uh, the one I mentioned that actually says browser plugins, that's across all users, but again, that's deprecated, not really used that much anymore. And so here you see the first response for Firefox. So again, like a lot of tables in OS Query, you're looking at this, there's a lot of stuff here. Um, it's really useful to have that much data, but it's also sometimes very hard for a human to read. So let's clean this up a little bit. I'm going to go back to my Chrome extensions query. And instead of taking everything, I'm going to grab a couple specific things. So and does that make it cleaner to look at? Definitely does. All right, so now let's look at all of the stuff I've got installed for Chrome. 
And this basically gives you a chart uh, by user. Now there happens to be only one user with Chrome installed on this machine. So this basically shows you what all the plugins for Chrome are. So say you were looking for a specific version. So a lot of times if there's a CVE about one of these, if it is for Chrome, it's actually gonna have this identifier string here uh, in, that, um, in that advisory. So we're gonna extend the where clause by actually looking for that identifier. So let's say, you know, last year there were a couple problems, not necessarily for Mac, but there were some problems with the Cisco WebEx extension. So let's take that identifier and plug that into our query because that's the specific one we wanna highlight. So we're gonna, we've already got a where clause. We're gonna add and identifier equals the string that we have. And again, so I've just pulled this from my machine, but this is often gonna be included if there's a CVE or other advisory. And hey, it pulls up that specific one by identifier. Now, uh, let's say you don't have the identifier or it's something like Firefox where there's an identifier, except that they're not used as extensively. I think the Firefox identifier is usually by like publication rather than like a specific string. We can also look this up by name. So let's take that identifier clause and instead we'll go after the name of the extension. And let's say you don't know the exact name. Remember that when you're using queries in OS Query because of SQLite, you can also use like comparisons with wildcards. So let's do this, name like percent sign Google percent sign. And what this is gonna do is this is gonna pull back any plugin with Google in the name, in which case we should get at least two things back. There we go, Google Drive and Google Docs offline. And if you wanted to then like narrow that down, you can go with specifically Google Docs and get just that one. All right, so let's go back to all of these again. So let's say you wanted to go after a specific set, uh, but you don't necessarily have all the same name or other commonality. One of the other cool things you can do with OS Query is because of SQLite, you can actually go after things in an array. So let's take this query again and to the where clause, we're gonna add and identifier but instead of what we did before where we said it equals something, we're gonna say in, and we're actually gonna start building an array of terms. So let's say we wanna do all of the Google applications. So we build an array of all of these different identifiers. And again, I'm pulling these from my machine, but you could pull these from, a, you could pull these from an image or machine that you knew was good. You could pull these from reference of Google online, various other things. Sorry, this takes a moment to type out, even with the cut and paste. So double check that. And so what I've tried to do here is take the identifiers for all the different Google application plugins I've got because I use Google Docs on my machine and I use them offline. So I have all of these plugins installed. And so what we should do if I did this right is because of this array, we should only get the different plugins that are associated with Google in my Chrome browser. And hey, look, there you go. You've basically got slides, docs, sheets, you've got Google Drive, YouTube, Google Docs offline and Gmail. You can argue that YouTube isn't really a Google Office thing, but it is one of Google's extensions. So what we've covered today, we've covered a bunch of things. We've shown that you can use, uh, you can use OS Query to identify different browser extensions. Um, we've shown that you have the ability to query a wide variety of browsers, although unfortunately, again, the Microsoft ones are not supported right now. You can query by identifier. You could query by a name or part of a name and do a string match. Or you can also query an array of identifiers if you wanted to regularly check a batch of extensions. In a future video, I'll talk about what we've done here today and how by using upticks, you could save these queries and use them at scale across your entire enterprise. I hope this has been helpful and I hope to see you again tuning in soon. Thanks.